Victoria, I do want to thank you for this incredible, incredible, insightful conversation. Can we maybe close with a few takeaways? Yeah. I yes. mean, what do we want to leave our audience with in terms of, yes, all the promise that robotics has for us and at the same time, like you mentioned, some of the realities of, yes, of controls and oversight. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. A lot of, uh, there's a lot of information on, on my website, which is, it's a very long word, www.conceptioneering. Maybe you could put that up. We will link, link it. We will definitely link, link it, it in yeah. the video for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. and that, 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 on there, you'll, you'll see videos. There's some really good videos. You'll see out here pouring a drink, recognizing it first because it can recognize. Um, and it then pours that drink and then uh, serves it. Um, there's also another video on there showing the emotion de detection and how uh, out here. Work, uh, works back from from the emotion and so on but there's a, the third video on there which is very informative Altair goes through all its own sensors mm -hmm. so it, it shows you all its sensors this is pre before the the amazon uh, uh amazon alexa link but um it basically it shows everything that it does and it explains it by itself which is pretty cool because this is a robot telling you how, how he works sort of thing so so there's some great videos on there um but with robotics i mean i, I just we are just close and it's just at some point some someone's gonna so, you know some corporations are going to just realize that hold on this is one way that we can help the the, the care system and we, we we're, we're short of carers um Anything that we can do, we, we, we're not going to ever get rid of social care, the, the carers, but co we can work with them or be an adjunct to them and make their make their their human work more efficient. Because you know, if the robot can be left and it can be um, you know c company and so on, um, and I work, I did calculate that if 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 you could save two four hour shifts a day from a carer, which is a basic wage of eight pound, which is not very much. You could pay back the the out here in less than six months, so it's not, you know, this is and and so I think we're going to get to a point where we're going to have to be using assistive technology, uh, uh, robotics in assistive uh, help and technology because we just haven't got the carers. We're we're in this country we're hundred and fifty thousand short, I think, at the moment of, of and and we haven't got the money. <laughs> There's not the money to pay for this, um, and so it's become a quite a political problem as well and um, and robotics can really add something here you know it, it will start slow but it will get you can imagine you know within 10 or 20 years you could imagine things like care homes um and uh, robotics being really useful and and, and you, you'll be seeing them and they won't even be a stranger or anything they'll be just normal um, and in fact, that's what we're, we're going to see everywhere, actually. I mean, even personal robotics within about 10 years, you, you, robots would be sort of, we, you know, why were we all worried about them and so on? Because we're at that point, thanks to vision and AI, where they can do really useful things. And, that's and, good to know. That's great to hear from you, Tony. Absolutely, absolutely inspiring and motivating <laughs> for us to look at us with some optimism to the future. Where ro robots not just fear, right? They don't just generate scares. They generate really hope and help and help for those yeah. who need that. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for this talk, Tony. Thank, Thank you so very much. I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you very much.